Your powers are weak, old man. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> All right, Peter, this is the last one, okay? You same same thing with Amiri. I don't know what it is with you guys. You guys have such hard brick heads, man. You can't understand a very simple, simple point. Money and culture are not the same thing. Culture is passed down from person to person. Culture is how children are taught. You should know this. By the time the, the, the child is age seven, the child's personality is pretty much set. By the time the child is 14, basically, their habits are set, which is why the Prussian school system starts at five, okay, before the child gets to seven. What the Prussian school system say, you give me the, give me the child at seven, I give you the man. In other words, I will indoctrinate the child early. You should know some simple school, uh, childhood psychology, you're a doctor. So what, what is it, man? Science and, and logic and all this stuff goes out the window when you talk about black females, are you that hurt? Are you that butthurt about black females, how you can't get them, can't get them to con uh, conform? Black females have been the same black females since 1650, okay? This culture is set. It's set pretty much in stone. It's almost impossible to change. Trust and believe, Clark and Monaghan tried to do it back in the 60s. Clark and Monaghan tried to do it back in the 60s. The sisters on the same shit they were back in during emancipation. The exact same shit. Go, you don't have to believe me. Go read, go read something, man. Go read Frazier. Go read Clark. All this stuff has, has been there in the black community and black culture forever. But I'm not going to go back and forth with you, man, because it's, it's a waste of time. You've been doing this shit for damn near 20 years. You've been saying the same thing for damn near 20 years. You're not going to change. And me going back and forth with you is wasting my time. So you can mention my name. There's a bunch of people that do it. Amiri does it all the time, too. So good for you. But if you can't understand a simple concept like culture, as I explained it to you, as how you're trained, the Chinese are doing it right now, the Germans did it back in, in the 19th century. We did it back in the mid-19th century. We started doing it again in 1972 when, you, when the feminists took over the school system. That's how come they took over the school system instead of trying for the money first. They didn't go for the money. They went after the kids. I said, we get the kids, we'll get the money. We brainwashed the kids get them thinking a certain way we'll get what we want and they have to a point as much as would be allowed that's how come you get little kids talking about their trans why do you think the, the trans are down there the trans and homosexuals down there talking to kindergarten children because they went indoctrinate them you're indoctrinated into a set of habits if you really wanted to change black women you go back back down into the school system and start indoctrinating them. little girls are indoctrinated from the time that they're small uh, my Latino friend, she says that she started her little girl learning to be a wife at one year old by buying a freaking tea set. It's not that hard. We joke about it all the time, the difference between a white mother and a black mother, especially how she treats her boys. That's documented. A black son would do much better with a white mom than a black son with a, with a black mom. IQ points raised and everything. That's how you socialize. It's not that hard. Money will not do it. If that was the case, money would have done it in Harlem back in the 60s. All money would do is over time, especially for young folks, is change the surroundings, change the environment, so that their natural pro proclivities will actually come out. But it can only go so far because the parents that teach these kids have brought their old culture with them. That is why it takes three generations for a, a child to become an American. It's three generations, which is why they steal kids at the border. That's why you have unaccompanied children. You and put that in so you can take, separate the kids from them, from the from the parents, put them into a white or American home, and you skip a generation. And instead of them being socialized in three generations, you socialize them in two, or perhaps one if you get them early enough. You get them as babies. Basically, they're raised by American parents and they become American uh, in first generation. 
but you bring the parents over, that's one, two, three, you got three generations before that final generation, which is the grandkids, become indoctrinated into America. And they kind of forget their old ways. It takes about three generations. But that's beyond me explaining to you, because I'm not going to go back and forth, whatever, you, I'm not even looking at the video. I don't want to hear what your bullshit argument is, because this is obvious. All you got to do is go back and read it. This is why your country and other countries do the same thing. Because it works. Why do you think the iPhone is designed for touch? One is because you already think that way. Two, because the children can use it. Why do you think? Why do you think the iPhone works so well? Why do you think the first thing that the Apple team did is give it to a kid, to give it to a baby? If a baby can use it, an adult can use it. You start indoctrinating the children. It's a very good book. And you probably want to read it. It's called. Uh, it's Carol Quigley, The Evolution of civilization and she talks about how civilization is built but in the first i think three or four chapters she talks about culture and how cultures pass down and she did a video on my MGTOW channel talking about culture passing the, the uh, biology environment and culture and it's normally a long time ago they're in sync until the industrial age the industrial age allowed the environment to be shaped much more quickly than culture could change and then culture would eventually catch up within three or four generations. And then biology is gonna pretty much stay the same. You can't really change biology, at least not yet. It takes 10,000 years for the biology to change, which if you think about it, they were all in sync back pre-industrial, okay? It took basically 10,000 years for the environment to change for the most part within limits, you know, building codes and all that kind of stuff within limits. It took about 10,000 years for a biological change, complete biological change, ad adaptation. And so your culture, which is, a, which is the intersection between biology and environment, also changed at the same rate. Industrial age, environment changes much faster than the culture, which also changes much faster than the biology. They're out of sync. And Heidegger says that's what causes anxiety because you're thrown into something that you, your body is not set for. And then you're thrown into a culture, or into an environment where your parents are still trying to figure it out. We're still trying to figure out this, uh, this, this feminist culture they're trying to push on us. Because one, two, one, two things, one, it doesn't fit your biology, and two, you, it doesn't really fit your environment. In fact, your environment's changing much faster than the feminist culture. So now they gotta rethink all this shit. And it's like a motherfucker, people are going nuts because the shit's too fast. But that's the way culture works. But I can tell you, that's how come black women will not change. That's how come black women are trying to get you back by what? Insulting you, shaming you, trying to guilt you. Because that's what your mother does. And that's what her mother did. That's what her grandmother did. And that's what her great grandmother did. Their behavior has been passed down. But the thing is, that's what you don't notice. Even though there's women that you have recorded that will tell you that they will absolutely tell you that that they this their behavior has been passed down from woman to woman it's a matriarchal gynocratic culture it's been passed down from woman to woman it's even in you because i can hear the way you talk because you say the same things they say so that means you have picked up the with the culture from your mother because you're trying to repeat it you're trying to play the game by her rules by trying try to play the game by women's rules instead of being about a man's rules. Man's rules, you know, fuck it. I don't need you. Let me go find another woman. You're a doctor. You can get on the motherfucking plane, go to Ethiopia, go to West Africa, go to Brazil, go to Colombia, get your wife and bring her back. She'll be perfectly happy. She'll be already submissive and all the other kind of stuff that you need to, to, a wife to be without all that headache. But you want an American woman because guess what? Most men want women like their mother. That's your imprint. So well, guess what, sir? God bless you and good luck.